potholes are a pain, especially this one on Malcolm X Boulevard in South Dallas. Then broke my axle. Shanae Wise had to fix her car after driving over it earlier this year. Next day, they came to fix it, but then I was still left with a $500 bill. And it's back again. One of the many problems Dallas Public Works is hoping to fix with their five-year infrastructure management plan for streets, sidewalks, alleys, and bridges. For five years, up to $10 million. The city says with more than $500 million from the proposed bond and the current general fund, there's still more than $100 million short of what's needed to fix streets. That's a huge number because, you know, we're, we're sometimes we're, you know, we'll hear $10 million, $12 million, you know, $30 million scares us, right? Public Works uses a pavement condition index to grade streets. The overall average for the city is 71.5, about a B on their scale. Here in District 7, it's a 73, which is considered good. But the worst in the city is here in District 14, getting a 68, which is considered fair. Public Works Director Ali Hatafi says it's due to higher street usage. Because of the congestion, because of the traffic load, and because of the, um, I guess, the old part of the sound that the Dallas downtown is. The department also identified 100 bridges needing improvement as council turned the focus on neighborhood sidewalks like here in East Dallas. One minute is there and then it's gone. I just want to make sure that neighborhoods are getting their fair representation. Which Wise wants to see too. She's glad the city has a five-year plan but wants the community to be at the heart of it. Sometimes people feel like they have you know, they have the answer, um, and sometimes you don't even know what the question is. Like, survey the people. The people who feel the pain every day. In Dallas, I'm Brittany Moncrease.